Now we're just in a house here in the inner west, in Burwood, a bit further than the inner west. And most of the piers under the house and the subterranean walls have rising damp coming through them and salts are coming up through the piers. Now these piers support the bearers which support the joists which your floors are attached to. And what happens is the water comes up through the base of the footing here into these piers and as the water comes up it brings salt up. And it's similar to is when you put a beer in the freezer, as the beer freezes, it will push the glass apart and smash the glass and expand. So as the salt comes up and it dries, it crystallizes and it pushes apart the mortar and the bricks from the inside out, turning them to dust. Now you can see all the dust on this pier here, right? Now, uh, the process that we use is we'll inject the bottom of these piers with saline siloxane, the injected product that we use, which will seal these up and you won't get any more water passing up through your piers or these other walls here. Okay, once that's done, we put a cocoon system on here, which basically sucks all the excess salt out of the blocks so you don't have any further deterioration. Once that's done, then all the mortar is repointed and cleaned out. It'll be all vacuumed out and then repointed, and you shouldn't have any more problems with your piers deteriorating or any of your floors sagging or you know cracking walls and things like that. So let's have a closer look in here. You can see there's holes coming into the mortar here. And it's all very soft. It's all just falling apart. In about 8 to 10 years, you'll be able to start to pull these bricks out and you'll have big problems with the floors moving and the walls cracking upstairs. That's all the dust from the mortar that's broken down in between the bricks.